Hi, I'm Zafar Bigbo. On this channel, I show how to draw, how to paint, I share my thoughts, ideas, plans. And today we're doing some new video of unpacking new item, which was delivered from our supply store, Jerry Sartorama. I'm not affiliated with Jerry Sartorama, not affiliated with the makers of this thing. And that thing is Easel, Easel Hugo. It looks like a laptop, it feels like a laptop. I've seen that uh, other people using it. There was an easel which was called Edge and it feels kind of similar. But anyway, it's the first easel of that type I have and I'm going to use it quite insensibly in the next few weeks. Let me give whole story how I bought this easel and how I found this easel. First, I've seen this easel and something similar like years before. Then I've seen on YouTube channel, a friend of mine, Vlad Duchev, and here's his channel. He also recorded a couple of videos about me in Planeta Easton in 2021. Here they are, episode one and episode two. But so far, uh, rating of this easel is like two, like 4.9 out of five uh, on Bullock Art Supply website, which is absolutely great. I went first uh, to look on website well, I mean the whole line of products again, but I knew that I need easel first of all <laughs> and maybe a side tray and uh, easel is the main thing and of course if you have not been using uh, any filter easels before you may need a tripod uh, if you've been doing photography if your tripod is metal head and kind of very sturdy it should be okay but the plastic ones won't work so let's check here easels Go to shop and we see shop all you go plan air okay let's go we have here all products and i need easel going to easels i scroll down and here we are so three of them i decided i want a bigger one not huge one but if it's somewhere like 12 by 16 11 by 15 14 that should be fine and they had the model and that the bigger one is actually 11 by 14.5 and it fits to my backpack and it also has pretty much a size of the laptop and also medium size i would go with this size because what i'm going to use it for is for canvases like six by eight maybe ten by ten eight by ten uh, but then i thought if i go with a smaller easel i will have a smaller palette I don't really like and this is a tiny one it's like a fun one if you like to do absolute miniatures like six by six or eight by eight mm, I think you can go with up to maybe 12 by 12 with this kind of easel but imagine how small is palette here I mean if you put your paints definitely you, you need to go with limited palette and second it's very uh, very small uh, mix area paint mix area so that was not not an option for me in price 265 uh, 110 and 155 all right i don't see any offer of sale i think they sell bundles here but it's i mean just addition of all things together um and they also have here the tripod, let's see tripod pricing. The tripod for you if you need it, metal head, metal ball. Again, I know any offer, no 10% off offered, no $5 saving. I think pretty standard and price wise, uh, $180. I think it's maybe too much. It's a compact, I realize, uh, but I have one from uh, Sunpack professional uh, one which I bought like for $110 from Best Buy I think that probably is better option than this one and I'll show you I actually uh, will give you a link to buy it from there if you want to buy what I'm using um, let's go to Jerry Satrama and I went to Jerry Satrama and I found after typing in here, uh, you go plein air, you go anywhere, you go Pashad box. It brings you to line of uh, you go from new wave and all items here below. Again, three tripods. Mine 
instead of 275 it costs 228 dollars wow pretty good saving when i decided to buy it from jerry's.rama i also bought the tray because I, I thought i saved money you know that's trick by marketing buy more save more and um now i a little bit regret, regret do i need side tray or not because i um uh, we'll see we'll see tripod here not 180 but 170 still high price wise and side tray is 32 dollars um, i believe on website here side tray is not 32 dollars but 37 more expensive again thank you guys for making it for us but uh the price wise i better go to jersey trauma anyway they will get your their share as they're selling it to i think wholesale to some retailers and they sell it and bring them money and nothing else needed here except of rubber bands some of them are coming inside i think as uh with 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 um and i do not know do i need it or not and different a variety of different palettes one palette of course is included i think that's the the acrylic one which softest one and it's white as i heard and if i go with extra one or i will have my own i just will cut it at the ace hardware store and paint it gray or buy it from here it looks like the anywhere gray glass palette tempered glass palette is for 20 six dollars not bad i didn't order it uh, because i had different other uh, ideas what i can use for palette i will show you in the future if we go to blick pretty much the same thing and price wise price wise actually for my model it's again 228.21 same price no uh, variety of palettes but easel is here and i could buy it from blick and if you have any coupon from Blick or they quite often offer to save five dollars or shipping or something else, Blick is great with that. Mm. What else? I think let's check Amazon. Amazon, if you type in Yugo Easel, not just Yugo, because Yugo among billions of products which sold on Amazon, something else could be. But for art products, we got again. Uh, after the sponsored item I'll go our Prashad box 182 but for the size of different size and side tray of what I need for $33 pretty much the same price as we've seen on um, for side trays on Blake and Jerry's Artorama but coming here yes here the thing if i buy size what i want 11 by 14 and a half it's again 228.21 but it's amazon prime and that's returnable two days delivery if you're amazon prime user as many we are no question asked just if you're returning it uh, in new condition um, just because of little defect or cosmetic defect maybe a little bit of knot or something on the side and you don't like it it's natural wood you can return it or you buy get another one that's what we all love amazon for so amazon would be a good option as well you get it faster for the same price as uh, retailers as jerry satrama and blick sell it for and if you need an easel i would this is what i use 110 Quite often you can buy opened one even for under hundred dollars but not 180 not 170 as let's say jerry's sell it for and uh, specifically this model this i like the way as locks are like this twistable and after i know i've been using it for five years it still stays tight you know I really love it and all is everything here is with the rubber it's really a good kind of grab grip uh, but if I buy on from Amazon I would go with something like this if you want I can put the link also below this video 
and it's eighty dollars good sturdy uh, same locks as one in one for 180 by mm, by a new wave and also maybe you can buy it with some sort of like protection you know for ten dollars extra three-year protection you thought if something is wrong with these locks you just return it it didn't work it's broke it's not functional again Amazon here is a winner all right um, if I had to do this order again I probably would go to Amazon buy easel and if I was a first-time user I would buy a tripod and a side tray you know we always can order it uh, from Amazon uh, and you can buy it from Jerry Sartorama from Lick it's actually it's a good order to like beef up your order you want to buy some tube of paint and you need like $45 minimum for free shipping put that tray if you really feel that you need one but now let's switch to our uh, opening exciting uh, moment and uh, see how things are packaged and how like, first feeling of the new product uh, is in my studio is I got these two boxes. As I said, I ordered the easel itself. It looks like this is the easel. And I got this addition, which is a tray on the side. I thought I may need it for my oil pastels, oil pastels for oil paints, uh, to put whatever paper and some extra space, re real estate, which could I could use for anything. I didn't buy two of them, even though it looks like they could be on two sides and uh, also i knew that the rubber bands are coming uh, with this i knew that not from website but actually from a friend of mine so i did not order the extra one i think it should be fine and let's see how things work um, i don't want to open tray yet so let's put it aside and what we have here is an experience oh it's a little tight but otherwise box is pretty nice sturdy and right new wave new wave new wave i think that's the company which um the makers of this product and it's called yugo plenaire yugo plenaire pashad box that's exactly the full name of easel i have here yes and ta -da! we got here a pretty nice feeling piece of uh, very well sanded and looks like varnished <clears throat> plywood uh, we have here uh, we have here logo it feels very solid and it really doesn't open so it kind of sits very sturdy and opening uh, I guess not on this side but on this side so you put uh, you put kind of fingers here yeah I, I could feel there is a magnet definitely hold it pretty strong so this is well this is the uh, easel uh, inside which is a pallet as like a one uni mono block and here's the area which uh, can be used for my canvases you know let me actually do video using this box pretty uh, convenient and also they have here some insert which shows youtube.com slash new wave art video let's talk first about the palette again this is uh this is acrylic so this is a plastic and uh, i'm i use scraper to clean my uh, palette and i think this will be ruined um, will i buy for 25 dollars plus delivery from uh, their website or even from jerry's or drama probably not uh, but maybe i will i will see you know the good thing 25 dollars and no uh, pain no problems if i will go to let's say ace hardware and they will cut me uh this size i probably will pay for 15 dollars uh, for this type of glass then i need to buy spray of gray color to put it on the back of the plexiglass or glass you know it's not really much of a saving if i'm not ordering that palette just separately but uh, with other paints and solvents whatever i'm buying from maybe it's really worth uh, paying those uh, money so this part comes off and it sits on pretty strong uh, 
magnets you could see those magnets and the corresponding magnets here so it's really if I put it like snaps very um, kind of strongly also there are a couple of magnets here as well and I can only guess that could be what that could be for I guess that will be for my trace you know there are a little bit little notches and then magnets hidden down and also there are two magnets here and those magnets uh, let uh, lead of the easel uh, stay closed without opening because there are no any latches or anything hold it together but magnet magnet works pretty well yeah let me try to remove uh, this palette so this slides out so you can really uh, after using uh, your pochade box maybe you can put this to your um, all right, to different box like sealed and put it to a refrigerator or outside um, and of course you can put another palette inside and use two three uh, of them maybe one for studio painting if you like to paint on pashad box and love your easel that much and one for painting outside or in the car that I would what I'm thinking of so uh, I don't think there is any storage here it's just just to make it lighter there is an air and otherwise it feels very sturdy it doesn't really uh, kind of like it's not flimsy and these um, parts are pretty uh, sturdy as well so the opening and closing is is manageable but it's pretty tight and if I will if I'm going to paint so I'm going to press it doesn't really much shake it put this back as well this is pretty tight very little little movement but that's absolutely I don't think it's any issue uh, it's gonna be any issue during painting process we have uh, this part as well and uh, this can be placed in um, as I have seen before or on the side here which would be okay if we're not using any tray or here and I guess we don't go over the palette just over this a little uh, kind of the, the wooden part so I need to be careful <laughs> it could be tight I could hurt myself all right so we have a logo a little bit stretched it looks fine and uh, they suggest to put uh, some sort of hooks like this to the bottom you could buy one from uh, from the company or from Jerry's and it's gonna hang here then you put uh, those like wash bucket so let's test a part where we uh, basically talk about the strength of magnets here because of the uh, I mean everything sits pretty tight actually because of the magnets trying to pull this you could hear by sound but this is pretty strong uh, pulling magnets but uh, far you move uh, your uh, these parts away less magnets hold it actually a lot plenty of them here should, should be safe and uh, my easel which is 11 by 14 and a half should be good for 11 by 14 canvas panel and I think it's very comfortable for like 8 by 10 if you like that size all right so no wind or gust or anything really impacts I'm gonna make it fall and fly away from my easel of course when you paint widely so these parts will get uh, painted looks like I have a glass an eye here watching me <laughs> or an island on the map I don't know exactly but this is pretty tight I really tried to pull it out it's not coming off so these little teeth here I will show it to you closer they are really uh, of a good size they do not on the way of my uh, brush maybe very little but you know there is no other way to hold um, unless you have magnets on the back of the panel don't you something like this <laughs> some few magnets here and then they hold on it that would make our canvas is more expensive I have one which is 9 by 12 so let's see how it feels 
feels great. It's easy, absolutely easy to install and very comfortable. Why I like this surrounding, especially when you paint out against the light, you don't want a shining uh, environment. Let's say you paint against water, which is sparkling. It's not healthy for eyes. And also uh, it makes you to see values on the paintings compared to that light, absolutely crazy. And then um, it looks or too dark or too light, or you don't just see colors. Uh, same way as I've seen uh, on Vlad's video, a good idea would be just to paint all this kind of entire wall with a gray or maybe the entire uh, Pashad box. So again, we can compare uh, our values and uh, temperature to that neutral gray, which I would use to paint uh, this entire uh, inner uh, back uh, part of the uh, of the Pashad box and then if you have also your um, palette gray and everything around is beautiful and this is your workstation that should uh, feel absolutely comfortable and let you less less mistakes outside be more efficient and be happier as a result right good so what else we have here uh, they create some sort of like a deeper notches here but it doesn't exist over here i guess if your if your paints are on your palette like along uh, this edge and this edge and maybe even a little bit above the level of this entire uh, like lower panel of the easel shot box if they're thick enough you can safely close it if you close it let me remove the rubber band okay if you close it, it doesn't close and the reason here oh yes so you really need also uh, to be sure that this is toothy kind of holders are sitting kind of inside so like over the uh, space where you see those kind of deep deeper parts so it means that that's the edge of the palette and the palette is lower uh, than this panel and now when we close yeah even with this noise i got very good impressions about the uh, design of it of course functionality will be tested uh, during my painting sessions and here I have a, I have a special kind of like a hub or the hidden uh, nut and I will be using from my uh, kind of sturdy a very nice very well tested <laughs> tripod this plate as we see it's very standard I mean plate is standard so it sits pretty, pretty well, and I hope uh, the entire system, entire Pashat box, not going to shake well during the painting uh, process. All right, so I'll leave it here. Let's go and see what our extension uh, suggests. We have this box uh, with an extra tray. It looks like it has a metal part, as you can see has a metal part and it has uh, this wooden tray and nothing else okay we thank you for your purchase that's really cool and uh, pretty much the same insert with a uh, address for video channel uh, you're very welcome uh, Keith and Kyle people who designed and and owners of the company, I guess. Oh, we have extra rubber band. Let's put it aside yet. And uh, this seems to be, looks like this is a metal detail. Yes, it's like H shape. And I can already guess how we can um, use it, but let's put it here. Okay. I guess they put any extra purchases in this kind of boxes. So here's the tray, decent quality. I see magnets again, and let's throw this away. And uh, nothing else. 
Yes, outside I see a size. I see size of this additional uh, detail. It also says that it can uh, tolerate half of a pound of the weight. It's made in Pennsylvania, in the United States. Now let's try to attach uh, this part, this tray. By design, I could say it sits well on this side or on this side, which, which is nice. So it's not like a right tray or a left tray. It could be either way. And the magnets here, I already expect click, it happened. So uh, when I put it like this and I try to press, it's really, a, I think half a pound is easy to tolerate. It doesn't sit very, very well, but I think unless it's very stormy wind, uh, should be good enough. Um, let's try to, I think I'll be using mine on the left side, because when I paint, I don't want to accidentally, uh, kind of, uh, when I move my brush, uh, put have all my tray falling, because left side is less busy. Okay, it's just pretty much the same, and design is the same, top and bottom are the same. It's just, uh, it doesn't really fall, oh boy, it's kind of like it moves away easily, but it sits, it sits. So don't really <laughs> lean on it, don't put too much weight. As other people have been using uh, this type of easel, so they uh, use this rubber band, uh, I guess like in lower part, because if this rubber band on the way with this magnet, then magnet's not gonna really um, sit comfortably so with this design. And then you can make one like this. All right. So we make it flat on the front. In the front. Looks like two of them. We make it flat here. So we make it flat here. Make it low enough. So we can go slightly higher like this. And then on the back we can have a couple of these twists. It really doesn't matter as far as the magnets hold it. So the idea was rubber really uh, create pretty nice kind of contact uh, with let's say handle of the brush and even a little pressure is enough. So this is a thinner handle. Brush is not gonna sit very well. Maybe we can do it like this. It's gonna work well as well. But what to do with my palette cup? So I use quite often palette cup like this and one would be for my uh, medium to make my paint uh, like more fluidy, but at the same time a stronger and maybe glossy like Galkit. And also I use solvent and quite often I use special solution, which called Terpenoid Natural, which is great for cleaning uh, brushes. So I can, I guess I can put it maybe here. It's pretty strong, it's just a little bit twists. Uh, if you have any paints here, that will be kind of not very convenient to grab. But otherwise, you know, it's pretty decent. So we can put it here as well. Actually, not bad idea because I'm right-handed. For me, access to paints, if I have them like uh, along every edge and side of my palette, this is pretty nice. Uh, there is really not good idea to put it on this tray, but the magnets hold it nicely. Uh, this one doesn't really hold, and this one holds well as well. It's little twists, but it's strong magnet. Strong magnet. The only thing, because it's uh, this notch, it's deeper, so there is no really good contact. So maybe using something like our smaller palette cup, which I like with leads, like this will work. So I can have here just uh, cleaning brushes, uh, solvent and medium, like Galkit gel will be right on my palette. That's a possibility. Uh, yeah, like this, just wanna make sure when I press it doesn't go, let's just stay on safer side, put it like this. 
or again these magnets are stronger at least it feels that it's stronger should be good enough I don't think we can put anything over here and you remember that this uh, spot is specific for rubber band and maybe you can have here a couple of pencils etc let's say I finished my painting I kind of like cleaned my palette and tomorrow morning I want to go and paint again I probably will remove my uh, palette out from my easel I'll remove my painting and put it to the wet canvas carrier for size 8 by 10 9 by 12 11 by 14 12 by 12 whatever you prefer and looks like uh, we can go with pretty uh, decent extension and my canvas I can use here could be up to easily I think up to maybe 16 like 8 by 16 vertically or 16 by 16 okay all right and um, I would take this off and then uh, this will be clean uh, this will be detached and I need to find what I need to use to carry this and I guess couple some pocket backpack should be suitable for that and uh, then I fold this down fold this down if I'm very very uh, neat and I have my small amounts of paint just along these sides and I'm not using backpack but I want to really kind of walk and have it horizontally on seat of my car maybe that would be fine but in case you go like this in backpack or like this what happens some paints will start sliding and will create a mess inside of your shot box so it's, uh, that's advice for those who are just starting uh, using shot boxes for those who've been using been in this situation before <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful if you did you can thank me putting like under this video if you want to support the channel there are a few links to do so in the description of this video if you had easel like this and you would like to share your impressions your rating review etc maybe just a few words with other people who come to this channel and with me put your uh, opinion in the comments area just in a few days in fact like in nine days i'm heading to utah for annual meeting of plein air painters of america organization which i'm lucky to be a member of and i will test this easel and likely i'll be painting outdoors and from car so maybe more videos are coming of recording from a car nocturnes evening views weather when the weather is not so good to be outside windy rainy snowy etc so I expect to do more recording and I hope you expect to have more interesting video coming uh, to this channel. Thank you for being with me and see you next time.